It was a time of great adventure and danger. Shunned by his kin, an illager wanders the land, seeking a new home. But all he found was hatred. Driven by rage against those who wronged him, he wandered blind to whatever end. Until at long last, the Illager found something that would change him forever. The Orb of Dominance. Corrupted by evil, driven by vengeance, the Arch Illager made all bow before him. And if they did not bow, they would fall. The Illagers raided the land. Who would have the valor? The purity of heart to stand against the Arch Illager's reign of terror. Well, not that one. But maybe you. Hello! Everybody and welcome to Minecraft Dungeons. So the game has finally been released, and this is apparently my first look. I haven't played any of like the betas or anything. I'm playing the full game. It's just been released today, and apparently we're in the character selecting page. So we actually do get that select like different kind of characters. I actually kind of like this one. This one's actually pretty good. So it's actually a lot. I don't know if you can change it later on, uh, but we've also got like some DLC ones, which I did get the the hero edition. So I think I have these ones uh, from that. I kind of like this guy though. That one's actually pretty good. But you can get like the classic like Steve and Alex skins uh, from Minecraft. Apparently these ones are locked. They're probably gonna be coming soon. So we can either go for this one, or we can get like one of these other skins. I kind of like that one or this one. You know, I'm going to go with the DLC one, because that one looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and hit done here. And, oh yeah, it's also a, um, it is a multiplayer game, so you can play with other people. I think I'm going to go offline for today, just to kind of get a feel for it. And then maybe in the future, I can do some online uh, playing. So, I think, let's see, so you can switch, okay, so you have to create a new one, it looks like. If I create a new one, yeah, it's just selecting this. Okay, that makes sense. So, here's me, I'm level one, I've got zero of whatever that is, and zero emeralds. Okay, so I think we're all ready, so let's just go ahead and hit start game, we're playing offline. So, here we go, start game. So, I don't really know where it's going to put us. Uh, but we did get a, a quick little uh, intro that kind of gave us some backstory. Oh. Burning. No doubt this is the work of the evil arch Illager and his minions. They sweep across the land like a ravenous scourge, subjugating or destroying all in their path. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you. Okay. So apparently we need to save the village and already looking at that um, cutscene there, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, compared to regular Minecraft. Um, okay, move around. Oh, you have to use click. Okay, so that's cool. So it's not really, it's not really the standard like WASD. You have to actually click. Here we go. We got a zombie. So you just kind of, it's kind of just like a click. Uh, click to do pretty much everything it looks like. Uh, we've also got, can we pick this up? I don't really know. So it doesn't look like you can actually like change the view. So that is the one thing that's kind of different uh, about this game uh, than normal Minecraft is uh, you kind of have like a third person or 
it's kind of more like an aerial view uh, of this instead of like your standard like first person and I think you can go pretty much anywhere except for over here now we do have some arrows I think we can pick up there we go so we've got some arrows we got 40 of them shoot the skeletons arrows are limited oh great oh I didn't even see the skeleton up there okay so it's apparently right click to shoot your bow and then left click is the sword it looks like so this is uh, fairly easy at the moment. So I think I can use... Oh, he fell down there. That's cool. Uh, let's see. We've got some more guys over here. I should probably use the sword. Oh, great. I want those emeralds. There we go. I don't want to lose them. So they do have... Uh, oh, great. How am I supposed to get you? You're being blocked. There we go. I've got him. So let's go across this bridge. This is kind of just like the tutorial phase. So I don't think there's really uh, much to do here just yet. Uh, but if you do want to get this game, I will put a, a link in the description. Oh, right. We got illagers. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Well, we've got those guys coming at us. They're actually fairly easy. Here we go. We got our first chest. We've got some bread and some arrows. Okay. So the bread gets your health up. That's good to know. I've also got regeneration for 25 seconds, which is nice. Let's see. We've got a villager statue. Um, oh, great. The gate is just... Oh! It's this guy! Are we supposed to fight him already? Okay, well, uh, we've got some illagers and stuff, too. Oh, great. Here they come. I'm actually taking some damage. Oh, we apparently leveled up. Um, what is this? Select an item of your gear that you want to enchant. Okay, so we're enchanting stuff now. Should I do... I, I want to use the sword. Okay, so in select enchantment, you can choose from randomized enchantments for every item. Select one now. Okay, so I can get poison cloud. I, I kind of want a poison cloud. Uh, damage per second two. Sure, let's go ahead and get that. So we now have a poison cloud. Uh, we can also get four damage if we upgrade again, but we need more enchantment points. So we get those for leveling up apparently. Oh great, we got more illagers. Here we go. So, so far, it's looking pretty good. Uh, you just picked up an artifact. Okay. Open your inventory to equip it. This is the artifact, apparently. So, right-click the firework arrow. Oh, it's a firework arrow uh, in the artifact category to equip them. Okay. So, we can equip firework arrows. So, that's kind of one of the cool things about this game. There's a lot of things in here that you wouldn't normally be able to find in, like, regular Minecraft. Uh, but I need to find some enemies to use. Oh, there's some. Oh. Okay. So, that's what it does. Okay. So, it does have a cooldown. Okay. That's good to know. So, it doesn't really break afterwards. Uh, also, I did want to mention, if you do want to get the game, I will put a, a link in the description uh, to where you can get Minecraft Dungeons if you want to get it for yourself. Um, oh. You were too late to rescue the villagers, but don't fret. Wait, what? They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. Um, I, I think I was supposed to save them. Oh, well. That's, that's fine. We're apparently traveling to the camp now. Um, okay, let's see. Mobs defeat 100%. Uh, healing done 27. Projectile hit 75%. Damage taken 39. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to our chest page. So the, it, this is a, uh, a dungeon styled game. So you do have like all these kind of like items and things that you get for like completing. And it is one of those games that you probably have to play a lot to try and get, like, good loot. But here we are in the, I think, like, level selection. So we can go, uh, here is where we were just at. But we can also go to the Creeper Woods. So, apparently recommended powers 1, normal difficulty. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into our first miss mission here. I think because the other one was kind of like just about like the tutorial. So let's go ahead and go to the Creeper Woods. By the Arch Illager's decree, all free folk are now enemies of the Illager Empire. Somewhere in these woods, a caravan is transporting villager prisoners to labor in far off lands. Find the caravan and stop the Illagers. 
or there's no telling what dreadful doom will befall our villager friends. Okay. So I think this time I'm actually going to try and go and find these villagers. I think that's kind of the mission, though. Yeah, free the villagers is our mission. Because apparently last time I, like, forgot to go get the villagers. Oh, great. This guy takes more than one hit. Okay. Here we go. Let's get rid of these zombies. Oh, there's my poison cloud that I got from my enchantments. So that's pretty good. Uh, I, does that damage me? It shouldn't. I don't think it should damage myself. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at these mushrooms. How they, like, move as you step on it. That's pretty cool. There we go. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. What did I just get? Oh, I got a strength buff. Okay, that's cool. I also did want to mention, uh, I am going to put a poll. Uh, I probably am going to put that in right now. I want to see what you guys uh, want me to do for this series. Do you want me to record it one time a week on, like, Tuesdays? Or should I record it, like, three times a week? So I'll put a poll up on screen now so you can vote on how often you want me to uh, record this series. Because I'm liking the game so far. Apparently, I just got an achievement for a wooden sword. I don't really know what that does. I do want to, like, kind of search around because they do have, like, hidden things that, like, if you kind of follow, like, your main mission, you sometimes, like, miss things. I should probably use, like, uh, my artifact as well. Uh, I have it equipped now. Oh, great. Right, there's a lot of them. Okay, we just kind of used it. So, we have to wait. I, I can kind of use the normal arrows. Oh, we wait for that to recharge. Oh, wait. We got a villager. There we go. We saved this guy. That's good. He's kind of stuck in my poison cloud, though. Probably uh, should go back there and see uh, what he's doing. Oh, that guy's, like, tough. There we go. Uh, villager. Oh, he gave me a potion. Um, I'm apparently in shadow form now. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I'm assuming I'm now, like, invisible. I, uh, am apparently taking a lot of damage. So if I press E, it apparently gives me a healing potion. I don't really know if that's, like, infinite or how that works. Oh. Oh, that's cool. We've got, like, a door. Uh, can we go in? How do I go in? Oh, uh, okay, we're in. Okay, that's cool. So we've kind of just like entered another dungeons. What did I just get? Oh no. Um, okay, I've just started like a mini boss battle or something. Okay, here we go. Let's get rid of all these zombies. They're uh, they're fairly easy at the moment. Oh, we got a chest. A wolf. What was that? A wolf chest plate or something? Yeah, I got wolf armor. Okay, we're probably gonna have to equip that. Um, let me go ahead and open up my inventory. How do I equip it? Oh, we just put it on like that. Uh, I should probably, uh, get out of that. I don't know what's gonna happen. Apparently, you get some emeralds from that as well. There we go. Let's go and attack these guys. We've got our poison cloud. So, we now have our first armor, which is pretty cool. I wanna go see what's over here. Uh, anything? Nope, nothing over here. Uh, also, I did want to mention, if you are playing with other people, uh, the cool thing about the chest system is they're completely random uh, to the, like, the person's character. So no one's going to get the same stuff out of the chest. Um, wait, what? Where did I get that from? I just got, apparently, just random TNT. Open your map and easily find your way. Okay. So we can't apparently open up this. Oh, that's cool. So this is the entrance. And apparently there's three secrets. There's five chests. Oh, we got to find some of these chests. I apparently found one of five. So that's good. So we're going to possibly get some good loot. I don't really know how I use this TNT. Uh, <laughs> let, oh, well, there goes the TNT. Uh, we now know how to use it. It kind of just flew off the edge, though. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get these guys. So here we go. We've made it out. Get the skeleton over here. Here we go. We've got another skeleton. So is that all of the stuff in that dungeon? Wait, let me look. Yeah, I've kind of just... They said there was five chests. I kind of want to go find these five chests. I didn't really see anywhere else I could really go. Let me try and find where these chests are at. Alright, so I couldn't find any of the chests in there, so let's just continue on with our main kind of mission here. Alright, I gotta get these skeletons. 
Uh, one of the things... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do before I continue is I want to upgrade my bow here. So I've got... Uh, let's see. I've got three enchantment points. So we've got like a few things here. Uh, it looks like we've got infinity. I don't really know if I really want infinity. I'd rather get like one of these other like enchantments like what, what is this one hitting an enemy has a chance to send it into a rage make it hostile towards everyone is that really good I don't really know if that's good you know I'm gonna get this one I don't really know if this is good but I'm gonna get it because maybe it'll make like mobs and stuff like attack each other I'm hoping that's how it works uh, but I do want to check something ah yeah, so on here, it does tell you uh, this. So the map, it wasn't for really that, like, area that I found. It's kind of just, like, for the entire level. So that's good to know. Uh, so when I was looking for those chests in there, apparently there's only one. The map just kind of shows you where all the, uh, all the stuff is on, like, the entire map. So that's good to know. So let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. So, wait, there's a sheep over here. Can I attack the sheep? Oh, I didn't know you could attack the sheep. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, uh, but you can. Oh, we got a chest over here. I'm glad we found that. What did I just get? I got some armor. Uh, let me get my inventory open. Let's see. So, comparing it to this, I think the armor that I have is better. You can, like, like uh, you can sort by different things. Oh, we've got a cape. Yeah, I forgot about this. So, because I have the Heroes Edition, I can get a cape. And I've got my pet chicken as well. Okay, I don't really know if that helps me in any way. But cool, we've got that. Um, can I do anything with this? Let's see. Oh, wait, this is the wolf armor that I'm enchanting. I thought I was enchanting the other armor. Uh, do I, wait, go back. Do I actually have, oh, I switched it. I didn't want to switch it. Can you, uh, can you go back there, gal? I want to see what I can actually get on this. Rolling creates a trail of fire behind you. Oh, I completely forgot about the rolling. Um, yeah, so apparently you can roll. I don't really know. Oh, it's like that. Okay, so you roll by clicking space. And I want to try and get this dungeon uh, done today. And then I think I might do a little bit of like kind of like playing off camera to try and get like some better loot and stuff maybe. Uh, because uh, the one thing about this game is you do have to kind of like constantly play it to try and get uh, like all the best stuff. I don't really know if I'm really going the right way, but it, you can kind of find like, yep, there we go. You can kind of find like chests and secrets and stuff. Looks like I got some more wolf armor. Now, I don't know if you can get, oh, it's like worse. Um, yeah, so apparently you can get like different stats on like... Uh, armor so you can get like one piece of armor that's like really good and then one that's like really bad but it's the same kind of armor so that's kind of cool that it's got like random stats so let's go ahead and just keep heading around here oh we've got spiders now oh wait what is that no um okay so the spiders will throw webs at you come over here spider there we go we got him all right we got to get these skeletons um all right what just happened to this guy here, we're just gonna hit him. There we go. Get this guy. Get the spider. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I can still use my bow. There we go. Let's get rid of these guys. Uh, I don't really know if my chicken does anything, but he's kind of here. There we go. Let's get rid of all those guys. And uh, we've got another skeleton over here. Some more skeletons. Uh, I should probably use like my artifact as well. I don't really know exactly where I can find like more artifacts and stuff uh, let's see we got some more arrows there more spiders more skeletons there we go more skeletons spiders oh God, I'm stuck there we go I need to get that shadow potion there we go so we're now kind of like invisible which is cool so let's go across this bridge I'm hoping there's like a chest over here because I think the other way is kind of like where we're supposed to go I kind of hit the sheep. I really wasn't wanting to do that, but I apparently ended up clicking on the sheep. There you go. Let's get rid of these guys. We're doing decent on health. Um, oh, right. I should probably use my bow a little bit more. Oh, okay. I just accidentally clicked the sheep, and he gave me TNT. Um, oh, right. 
I forgot the TNT is activated by the same as your bow. Okay, that's good to know. So when you have the TNT, don't try and use your bow. Uh, we've got more sheep, some cows. We've got a campfire. I don't really think we can use that. Oh, we got an apple from the cow. Uh, what is that? An axe? Okay, I picked up an axe. I don't really know if that's any better uh, than uh, what I have now. But we can check that here in a second. Uh, let's see what this axe is. 13 to 20 damage. So it is better. It's also got a spin attack move. I don't really know how you use that. We can also get sharpness. Makes your weapon sharper and cause more damage. Um, I think I probably want to save up for that. So you know what? Oh wait, I want to equip that. So let's go ahead and equip that. We don't really have any special abilities on it at the moment. But if I level up, I can get an enchantment skill. Uh, but this is apparently a better than my sword, hopefully. Ah, we got some supplies, some bread, uh, some arrows, some pots. There we go. We got some, like, better pots, it looks like. I do have regeneration, so let's, uh, let's go fight these things, uh, before my regeneration wears off. Uh, let's see. Nothing over there, I'm hoping. Uh, let's go ahead and... What are these spiders doing? They're, like, jumping around. There we go. Let's get rid of this guy. Get rid of you, you, you. What is that? A swiftness potion. Okay, we've got swiftness now. Now I'm gonna try and use my new axe. There we go. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of spiders. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's the spin attack. Okay, I don't really know exactly how I activated that, but I kind of just like clicked and it did it. Oh, I need to get those emeralds. I thought they kind of like just randomly, or they like automatically picked it up, but apparently not. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's actually some really cool blocks in this. So, there's a lot of things that aren't, like, normally in Minecraft that they have in this. Uh, I don't really know where this next secret is. Oh, wait, what is that? That pig has a chest. Get him. Give me that chest, pig. There we go. Oh, we got a lot of good stuff. I don't really know what that is. I just picked up, uh, something. What did I get? Uh, let's just go to the all. Is this a new artifact? death cup mushroom i can probably equip that so i just got a new artifact so i can equip that there which is pretty good i've also got like some more swords and things as well so that's cool we've got a new artifact now i've also got like this fire thing around me now i don't was that always there i i didn't notice that before there we go. got some more emeralds i didn't really know what the emeralds are used for uh but i have a feeling it's probably going to be used uh, for like, uh, like purchasing or stuff. Here, let's get away from that. Oh, I can never get anyone with the TNT. So we got to free some of these villagers here. There we go. You're free. You can, uh, go somewhere, I guess. Let's go ahead and free you. Oh, right. This guy is like really powerful. There we go. We got him. Uh, we've got another guy here. There we go. Free this villager. Uh, we have three of five villagers. Where's, uh, where's the other guys? They just kind of like teleport away. Okay, let's get this cow. Oh, you didn't give us any food. Oh, right. This guy's strong. There we go. Let's get rid of you. Let's see. We've got some more pots of emeralds over here. So we can get... Oh, wait. I missed some. There we go. Let's get some of those. Let's see. Any more villagers around here? Wait. There's some more pots. Oh, yeah. Here's another villager. Here's some more illagers. Oh, right. There we go. Save the villager. There we go. Get out of here. There we go. We got rid of all those guys. We've got, I think, yeah, there's a person up here. Wait, why aren't you attacking? There we go. Um, oh, right. We've got this guy. There we go. Apparently, we got him. Let's get this cow. I need to get some food. Now, I'm just going to use one of my potions because I think we can use those, like, uh, infinitely. Oh, right. Um, oh, right. This is not good. Come on. Use the spin attack. There we go. I'm kind of just, like, hitting everything. And uh, hoping that we can get rid of them all. There we go. Uh, we've got another guy over here. i got to remember that I keep using the bow. Uh, so let's keep moving on this way. There actually might be chests over here. Oh, right. I keep hitting the sheep. That one actually gave me a lot of emeralds, though. So I don't really know if it's actually good to get the animals or not. You know, let's get this cow. Yeah, it gives you... They do give you food every so often. We do have a spider in here. They're actually kind of running right from me now. Oh, right. Why am I stuck? Oh, right. There we go. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get those emeralds, get the spider. Okay, we got some creepers over here. Might as well use our arrows. There we go, get rid of those guys. Got another pot. And we've got some more creepers. We've got a creeper over here. We can go ahead and get this guy. Let's see. More creepers. I don't really know if I've gotten... Oh, I've leveled up. I can, uh, I can upgrade my axe. But I should probably, like, save my enchantments. Because I might get, like, some better stuff, like, later on in the dungeon. Okay, so let's keep moving on here. I'm hearing, like, some really weird noises over here. So I'm not really sure what that is. But we've got... Uh, apparently a strong zombie here. Um, let's get the spider quick get these guys Quick we gotta get these spiders. I keep like hitting all the animals. They keep getting in the way uh, Let's see. we got to go over here. Oh, right. We got these guys. Oh that guy looks strong uh, Get rid of you um, Escape the creeper woods. Okay, here we go. Get rid of you um, oh right, this does not look safe. Oh, look at the lava. Oh right, there's the skeleton stuff. I'm trying to see what everything looks like. The lava looks really cool. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff. I should probably use, uh, my, uh, my arrows. Or not my arrows, my, uh, fireworks. But apparently I've gotten rid of all these guys, so I don't really need the fireworks. Oh wait, what is that? Oh, shadow potion. Okay. These villages are free last of the villages all thanks to you okay so i've apparently completed that and we're going back to the camp so it looks like the camp is kind of like the um kind of like the oh we got our chest but it looks like the camp is kind of like your safe zone here we go what are we gonna get from our chest we're gonna get ooh, we got boots of swiftness okay that's cool um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and head over here. Oh, yeah, see, these are the, these are, like, can I, can I talk to you? Oh, there we go. So, we can, random gear. Okay, so it's kind of like, oh, wait, what's this over here? They've got some, uh, 50 emeralds. Sure, I'll take that. How many emeralds do I have? 260. Okay, so is this the only trader we have? I don't think we have anyone else. Can I see the map? Um, oh, wait. That's not really what I wanted, but oh yeah, there's like a loads. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's also gonna be like DLCs and things that are gonna come out as well. Uh, but that's pretty much kind of like my first look at the game. Uh, so if you do want to see more of this series, definitely leave a like on the video and uh, also vote in that poll if you wanna see this be a. Uh, a once a week series or if you want to see it more than once a week like three times apparently I can hit this guy even uh, with like uh, my axe this is supposed to be like the bow training area but I can still hit him with the axe apparently so that's cool that you can actually like test out your weapons and things you know what before I end the episode I want to just quickly buy this thing 80 uh, oh wait you have to hold it oh wait did I just buy two I don't really know what happened, but I apparently got fox armor. Okay. I don't really know. Is that better? Let's see. Six armor. This has five. Can I equip the boots? I can. Oh, it's part of the artifacts. Okay, that's cool. I've also got... Let's see. So that's 15 to 24. 13. Okay, so this is actually a better sword. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that. So this is also one of the things you have to do is you have to try and figure out what the best armor is. So looking at this, it, it looks like my wolf armor's better. Even though this one's actually like a unique rarity, it's not as good. But it does have like different boosts. Like this one's 20% weapon damage. This one's 30% chance to negate hits. Oh, that's cool. So I think that's pretty much it for the first episode of Minecraft Dungeon. So I'm going to go and end the episode here. Just so make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.